if we go through, we're going to look at some of the uh, fine details uh, across uh, the pages that we've just been looking at. So here we go. These are the conclusions. Uh, if you go straight to the end, this, I think, is uh, uh, the uh, key judgment at the heart of this report. The senior leadership at the centre, both political and official, must bear responsibility for this culture. So the big picture, the big question about this report is exactly what does that mean in a, uh, in a situation where we are told Boris Johnson isn't going to resign, Simon Case, the head of the service, civil service, isn't going to resign. Um, uh, Sue Gray is doing this report uh, some months after she released an interim report. What's interesting about all of her language when it comes to the conclusions is she essentially says that the key judgments that she made last time still stand. They pointed to failings at the top of the civil service and the top of the uh, political uh, machine, uh, and she still stands by those. The question is what, uh, given the vast array of information that she's putting in the public domain, uh, we, uh, we get... Uh, uh, in this report. Uh, she says here, in my update, I made a number of ge general limited f uh, findings. That update was the thing that we saw on January the 31st. And she does say, I am pleased progress is being made in addressing the issues I had raised. I comment upon the fragmentary and complicated leadership structures in number 10. Uh, and she basically says that things are going uh, uh, a little bit better. She says, I found that some staff had witnessed or been subjected to behaviours at work which they had felt concerned about but at times felt unable to raise properly. So that's interesting. She's essentially saying that the civil service here uh, didn't feel that they could challenge the culture. In some cases of illegality uh, uh, that they were seeing all around them because they didn't feel uh, that they had the confidence to do that. Uh, I was made aware of multiple examples of a lack of respect and poor treatment of security and cleaning staff. Now, you'll remember Sky News reporting yesterday that in some cases the security guards, known uh, in number 10 as the custodians, were emailing to complain about the behaviour in number 10 after some of those parties that we've been reading about. Uh, but uh, clearly those complaints falling on deaf ears. And I think if they are... Uh, there's any suggestion of mistreating the cleaning staff, I think that will uh, send shockwaves across many MPs. She says that was uh, unacceptable. She says things have happened uh, to improve the situation since then, uh, but she makes more recommendations about alcohol in the workplace. Here's another key conclusion on the next page. Uh, the matter of what disciplinary action should now be taking. While there is no excuse for some of the behaviour set out here, it is important to acknowledge that those in the most junior positions attended gatherings at which their seniors were present or indeed organised. So, in other words, Sue Gray is trying to tell us that those higher up the political chain uh, should bear responsibility, but she is not in the conclusions naming names. We'll be going through in a bit, uh, a little bit later, uh, to get a sense of whether or not she does in other bits of the... Uh, report. Uh, the annex essentially does have a series of photographs. This is the 19th of June 2020. Now, that was the Prime Minister's birthday party. Uh, you'll remember that uh, this is the event that Boris Johnson got fined for. That individual there is Simon Case. He's the head of the civil service. You can see uh, plates of some kind of food, some orange juice, uh, possibly at white wine, possibly something else uh, in his glass. Simon Case there. Uh, with, a, a, uh, with a can of Coke. Now, Simon Case wasn't fined by the police. Boris Johnson was. Rishi Sunak, who you can't see in this photo, also was. And there's lots of questions why he got done, but he didn't go. And so that's going to be quite an interesting photo uh, going forward. We're looking at another one of the big uh, pictures. It's another image from the same day. You can see Boris Johnson, Simon Case uh, talking to each other at that event. Now, this uh, is the third one. You can see Rishi Sunak. So he was fined. He was fined. Simon Case, we can't see in this one, wasn't. Uh, you can see the trays of sandwiches here and the uh, what looks like apple juice uh, and orange juice on the side, uh, giving it that kind of uh, uh, more relaxed vibe that you see. But those are the key bits of evidence uh, about the event on which Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, was fined £50 by uh, police. Uh, and then there's yet one more photograph. You can see him, uh, the Prime Minister, going cheers with a can of Coke and a plate uh, full of sandwiches. Now, this is a picture of another event. This is the 13th of November. Uh, now, this is the uh, photo that shows Lee Kane's leaving due. Lee Kane, of course, Boris Johnson's former director of communications. Uh, we saw one photo uh, of Lee Kane's leaving due a couple of days ago, provided by eight, uh, ITV News. This is another one, uh, and it shows uh, Boris Johnson essentially playing uh, what would look like the role kind of a host at this event. Some surprised that Boris Johnson wasn't fined for the events uh, at that uh, party, uh, given that other people people in the rooms, potentially some of the people who are blurred out, were fine. You can see from a different angle from what we saw on Monday 
all of those wine bottles and those uh, uh, wine glasses and uh, what looks like a vodka bottle, perhaps, uh, are on the table. Uh, but you can also see the Prime Minister, uh, uh, the Prime Ministerial red box, uh, which uh, may be used in the case for the defence of the Prime Minister, uh, suggesting that he uh, might have been uh, working. And here you can see it just from a, a different uh, angle, uh, him looking like he's very much sort of holding the room, giving a speech uh, and sort of uh, very much in uh, command of events. And there uh, you have uh, the toast at the same event uh, of um, Lee Kane. Um, and a fourth photo uh, of that event, uh, a little bit more of the detritus uh, underneath Boris Johnson that you can see, and uh, another photo of the same uh, event uh, there. So um, those are the photos in the report. We'll get more details that will come to you uh, with through the afternoon as we go down to exactly how she discusses uh, what went on there. Uh, but clear that Sue Gray trying to point the finger to those at the top, saying there's been some improvement in the culture, uh, but also uh, saying that those at the junior end, many of those who were fined uh, by the police, 80-odd people uh, have received fines who work at the heart of government, uh, sh uh, many of the more junior ones shouldn't bear the blame, but unclear quite what happens next, uh, as, uh, as she says, blame should go to the top, but it doesn't appear as if anything will happen to Boris Johnson and Simon Case.